colleagues said that the reports are groundless. I'd like to get your reaction on that. But second, they've always stated that they've, uh, the human rights and situation in China is fine because they have sold you uh, all the participants in the NGO forum. And I understand. We have been uh, participating in all the regions. Absolutely. <coughs> and do you think they were broadcast? But as most of you know, this is also the first time that Amnesty International has been allowed into China and sitting here in the capital of a country whose government has a grave human rights record, we cannot be silent. We have heard virtually every excuse from governments to justify human rights violations, but this is simply unbelievable. To welcome the world to Beijing, must people die? These are, very simply, our hopes for the conference, that the governments in Beijing will build on universality and indivisibility, that they will take steps to clean up their own house by addressing state violence, and that they will move to bring their soldiers in line with international humanitarian law in conflicts, and that they will guarantee the human rights of women who put themselves at risk by defending the human rights of others.